welcome back guys to another moto vlog it's, it's, it's been a while since i did one of these probably i think like uh two weeks because i think i had one on my backlog reason why i had to go on business travel that was only supposed to be a week and a half that turned to two weeks and then that turned to three weeks so I wasn't able to actually like be on my motorcycle and ride it and it sucked. I was in uh, Pittsburgh and every day pretty much that I was there, there were a few days of rain, but every other day was mid 70s, crystal clear skies, beautiful day. And just seeing all the bikes out, it, it, it hurt. I was jealous. But I did do some, a, a few fun things while I was there. And it's, going to talk about those a little and what I plan on doing towards the end of this ride. Um, but so I was out there for business. Uh, weekends were my own so I could do whatever I wanted. Pittsburgh is three and a half hours away from Columbus, Ohio, where I have family. Uh, specifically, I got grandmas. My grandma lives out there, and I got some uh, aunt and uncles that live out there. Or some cousins and all that. But my grandma had been living with my parents down in North Carolina for the winter. And as part of that, my mom had to drop off my grandma back up at uh, in the Columbus area. So... The weekend that my mom happened to do that, or a weekend she was there, ha happened to be my first weekend where I was in Pittsburgh. I was talking with my dad, and, and, and he suggested I try and uh, surprise them. Um, here, let's turn the music down so hopefully it's not too loud for you guys, or if you hear it. But he suggested I try and surprise them. So I did. I, after work, on the Friday, I, the first Friday I was there, hopped in my car, and drove to drove to meet them. My mom had no idea. My dad knew. I think he was the only one. Him and uh, his parents were the only one because my dad was out with his parents. So him and his parents were the only ones that knew that I was doing this. And I head out there. I left work about 4:30. Um, and about an, an hour into the drive or so, and I get a phone call from my mom. Just talking, just to see how I was doing and, and whatnot. And I had to come up with a, a decent excuse as to what I was doing of, oh yeah, I'm headed back to the hotel. I'm thinking I'll do a pizza for dinner. I, I always do pizzas on Fridays because it's what I do. But I was going to get pizza for dinner, and I had to figure out where I was going to order it from, and all that stuff. And I had that conversation with her. I thought she might be suspicious. I called my dad. He, he, he said nothing, so I'm like, okay, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll let it go. I'm not too worried. But continued on driving made it there in, in about three hours, but as I was getting into Columbus itself, uh, a thought dawned on me of some way that I could uh, tie in the pizza thing. And in the Columbus area, there's a pizza chain called Donato's. I really like their pepperoni pizza. They do an edge-to-edge -edge kind of thin crushed pepperoni pizza. Really good. So... I figured, okay, I can stop by there, buy a pizza, and they come up with a line of, they wouldn't deliver it to me, so I had to come and pick it up. It's just what I did. So, I go and pick up the pizza. It's about uh, just before 8 o'clock by the time I get to the pizza and get back to, um, get back to my grandma's house. Knock on the door. My grandma comes and a answers it, and she had no clue either. And, I did the sh be quiet kind of thing and went and uh, walked in and, and gave my cheesy line of I ordered pizza and they wouldn't deliver it so I had to come pick it up. 
and it took my mom a few seconds to realize it that that I was there and she claims it was the uh, the lighting in the kitchen the kitchen was dark fine I came in through the kitchen basically fine but but she didn't recognize my voice initially I guess and so it took her a few seconds to realize it and then it's like oh you're here so had a nice weekend and it turned out to be one of my cousin's birthdays as well so I gotta go eat Italian ice to celebrate her birthday and they gave me a chance to see some of my cousins and my aunts and uncles so that was nice I hadn't I hadn't seen most of them in a couple years my grandma and my mom had been uh, Thanksgiving was the last time I saw them so it was enjoyable and then I left Sunday mid midday Sunday uh, after spending the weekend there and went back to Pittsburgh to go back to work it wasn't too bad and that was the first weekend last weekend there I didn't do anything uh, second weekend though I did have a little fun uh, I looked around to see if there was any shooting ranges in the area and there was one a nice one that was open to the public it was actually built in uh, August of last year so relatively new which is always nice um, so I went out to there and rented myself an mp5 with a suppressor on it which was quite enjoyable to shoot I mean it was a hundred dollars for two magazines each with 25 rounds so 50 rounds for a hundred bucks uh, it was ten dollars a uh, magazine after that but I got to fire that which was fun um, first time I had fired a an automatic weapon did it in basically three to five round bursts because you really in an automatic weapon unless you're at a at an outdoor range and just trying to do a mag dump for fun there's no point in mag dumping you're not gonna you're not gonna get anywhere with it but I did that that was fun went out to eat a lot when I'm on travel I get a a per diem a stipend for food every day so I stayed at a hotel that offered breakfast the residence in by Marriott so had breakfast and then Monday through Wednesday usually had a, a dinner thing of some form so I did save some money there or I say save bank some money there because anything I don't spend I still get that 50 I get 53 bucks a day for food regardless of how much I use so, which is nice so I got all that ate at a number of different restaurants um, so oh, let's see an Irish pub a Mexican joint um, what else did I eat at Mongolian barbecue had takeout Chinese utilized uber eats because if you're there by yourself there's no point in going out I don't I don't think I thought about some ideas for if I have trips like this in the future where they're long or I can take people out for dinner just because but did that which was fun um, and what else happened that's pretty much it I mean I was there for work and business was business and went well so now I'm back in town for I don't know four or five days before I go on business again I go out another trip on Tuesday but this one's short so it's kind of nicer that it's short it's only a, a four-day trip including two days of travel so it's really two days at at a location and then back home so not too bad Ooh, I smell trees and forests and nature and it smells lovely but like I said we'll call this video here thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed uh, if you did uh, please do like and hopefully tune in next week for the next for another video and something new thank you bye